Republican Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan says she's forming a new task force to examine what she calls indoctrination in education. McGeehan says she wants to protect Idaho's young people from the, quote, scourge of critical race theory, socialism, communism, and Marxism. Speaking to Nate Shellman on KBOI's Capital Clarity radio show, the lieutenant governor said the move is a response to feedback from Idahoans. As I've been traveling around the state talking to people, people are asking me, this is, they are really concerned about what is going on and they ask me, what is Idaho doing? What are we doing in Idaho to prevent this from being taught in our schools, this dangerous ideology? A press release on the new task force promises more information in the coming weeks. Boise State University President Marlene Trump has previously said the school is committed to equity and aims to teach students how to think, not what to think. Conservative lawmakers and the state's largest university have increasingly found themselves at odds over elements of the school's curriculum. On Wednesday, House Republicans overwhelmingly rejected the state's proposed higher ed budget with just one Republican voting in favor. That proposal would have cut more than $400,000 from BSU's budget. Senators said those cuts were intended to send a message, but some House lawmakers said steeper cuts are necessary. The budget now goes back to the legislature's budget setting committee. It must be passed before lawmakers can wrap up the legislative session, and they're already more than two weeks behind after a COVID-19 outbreak prompted an 18-day recess. Some legislative leaders have said they hope to finish the session next week.